center this way. Red. Go! Yes, PR lifestyle is more than just hitting a PR on the squat bench or deadlifts. A PR could be going a week without skipping a meal. It's about being the best version of yourself, always improving. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are in San Diego, about to enter a tournament. And I'm happy to be back in the US because now I get to have all that experience that I could not receive overseas in Dubai. Tournaments were scarce, maybe two a year if we were lucky. Out here, just in California alone, there seems to be one every single month. Not to mention we are interested in traveling around the country. Behind us, we have some guys totally getting warmed up to test their might, give it their best. And I'm jumping in, both arms, right and left. I'm gonna enjoy it, have a good time. I'm enjoying the journey. And for all those who have patience with me, learning the game, appreciating arm wrestling for what it is, and all the new arm wrestlers that have come as a result of these videos, thank you. We will shout out to Jim later in the video. Please stay tuned. It's gonna be a long, Fun day. We have Carl and Jacob. Come to Carl and Jacob. Go! And there he was away. Yeah, wrist, 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 wrist
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Enjoying the journey. Took plenty of hours on the way so far, and I'm ready for more. 
Yeah. And you know, arm wrestling is a painful sport, but it's a really tight community. You got strong it. brotherhood. You got to take your hits, right? That's you right. Take your hits. You got to keep getting back up. Keep yeah. learning every time. Yeah. And I'm having a blast. So happy to be back in the U.S. participating in tournaments and getting that experience that I crave so much back in Dubai. I see so a lot of putting this all together. I see a lot of W's for you in the future. <laughs> Let's hope so. I mean, yeah. we're still, you're still going to, I mean, let's face it, we're all going to take the L's every now and then, but I see a lot of doing I got a streak coming soon. You do. I think, <laughs> yeah. you, I think it's deserved, right? Most definitely. It's coming up. We got a sword for you today for your overall. Take it, take it out. Let's say it. Can I figure this out? Just yeah. don't, don't hit me. Just don't <laughs> kill me. <right>? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah. Put it back in there. Right, yeah, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> And we got a little cash for you as well, too. Oh, thank you. Whoa! Some, uh, some lunch money for you. <laughs> lunch for the judges. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to pocket a pump and really big right now. Okay. And we're going to hand out some medals for our, for our lesson right now, too. But thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. And, uh, you know, you're invited to stick around and do the curl as well, too. Oh, geez. Wow. That's a tall Show me your power. That's what made the difference. The first time you told me, I don't even want to tell him this, I might probably have to arm wrestle again. <laughs> the first time you arm wrestled me, yeah. you, you totally let me have whatever I wanted. And you didn't you didn't actually take control of it. Right? Right. And that's why you, your hand your elbow went off, because when I pushed, I pushed, you know, through you. And you weren't ready to yeah. And then once you once you set up and you just did this a little bit. You said, I'm, I'm, I'm here to basically destroy you. <laughs> and you did. You did. It's like I could feel. Even me going in like that, which I'm not good at, I still feel like you're like, I hey, think you need 10 to load bodies on top of this arm to do something. <laughs> That's what I felt. But for those early starts, those small starts, you're getting me blown up a little bit. It's not the first start so much, but it's like, I'm here running. This is your control. Yeah. You already have this. This is what's going to control it. Based on how you grab people or don't grab people, it is whether you get yourself in trouble or not. So in my first match, I hear I'm 163 pounds. It's unbelievable, yeah. And you gave me the match the first time. Because you just like, I don't know, what were you thinking, seriously? What, what were you I was about thought? slipping, right? Because Derek was telling me, well, you know what, you're going to out wrist rise me. You're going to out top roll me. So I should try and slip, get through the straps. And get you in a hook. Okay, so, so in your opinion, did any of that happen? Well, it didn't because I didn't officially slip. I went into uh, elbow bow. Then second round, um, I tried to hook you, but then we went back and forth with the false starts and elbow bow. So, okay, so all the stuff you said in the first, in the beginning, like, yeah. you named like five or six things. Yeah. It, like over time, you're gonna get this. None of that happened, right. right? Because my goal was to get you from here to here before you do it. So I didn't let you have a chance to do this. Like I'm being as fair as I could, right? right. But I, well, I knew that on, on the speed part and the movement, I probably had to because you didn't set up. Right. So just take that for the next time you pull. If you grab onto somebody, that hand says everything. And it's not that you're going like this. Like it's not like. Right. Blowing myself up. It doesn't matter. No. It's just the matter is that that angle, right? That position and, and what you do from there. And you got good speed. I, mean, I have to say, you totally impressed me with your speed. I didn't think you were that fast. I was forced to be, you know? I was forced to be. I wasn't always, but I was getting better. But there's always someone faster. My right? are faster, all legs faster. So, you know, I don't want to always be fighting in a losing position, right? Yeah. Good job. Thank you, brother. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. I got to pull you. Yeah. For as long as I do. I was over there talking to you. You're going to pull Larry. What? <laughs> well, we have 100 pounds on Grandpa over here, you know? <laughs> yeah, so that's off to you. Someone asked me yesterday, a guy that's coming out to, uh, from New Hampshire that trains me on Tuesday, he goes, how old are you? I know how old I am, right? Like, I, had to, I had to write it down on Facebook. 67, I go, I, I'm three years away from 70. And I woke up and I walked in the tournament thinking that very thought. That I'm 67. But no, I'm three years away from 70 years old. It's like, oh, geez, that's amazing. But I don't put myself on accolade things. It's just like, wow, God has just been tremendously good to me that I can last as long as I have without injury like most people do. Yeah, and you have full range of motion, don't you? You can fully straighten your arm. Well, so nearly. I mean, just about. I mean, that looks great. Yeah, compared to just about. But I don't, I don't, I'm not a weightlifter. I train people. Long. Like, that's my that's my thing. Because I feel like I need to grab onto 
Adam's hand, right? Mm -hmm. To see what does he have in that hand to know where I'm going to go. Everybody's hand is different, and you got to grab them all. You learned that today. Absolutely. And look at Dave, a strong heat. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Second place, we got Tom forward in the sport. Yeah. I really am. Like, tournament after tournament after tournament. Experience. Huge. You know, I couldn't get that overseas. Right. But coming back here, now every month, there's a tournament. Well, first of all, you know this, I know this. Oh, yeah. The stuff they're taking is, it could hurt you or it could make you stronger. Right. And when you've got so many Europeans, right, that have tremendous tendon strength, which is different than all that, right? Oh, yeah. It can hurt you. So you got to learn how to train with tendon strength and movement, which is what's going to make you a great athlete. So you're better here because you can take guys like Thomas, like if you go to North versus South, and you can let him pull in and out to figure out what you really have. Because hitting people with speed doesn't really, you don't know what you got. But if you can slow it down, let Dave, Dave hit you uh, with s slow pulling, you know where you are in the sport. Speed doesn't tell you a lot because I'm a speedster. So what helped me in the beginning was my, my first loss, as it were, against Dave Pat. It's, it's then that I began to learn about the sport because everything else was pretty good. Right? Right. But you've got to slow down and start pulling. Hold that. Hold. Yeah. No, don't take all your power. Just don't do it. Hold on, sir. Hold on him for five or ten seconds. All right. Thank you very much. Good. Stand by right here in the center. Sure. We got this for you as well, too. That's your invite to East versus West. Not that you're right. Wow. Nice. It's nice to be invited officially. Yeah. To earn it. Yeah. Right. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, likewise. Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice job, guys. All right. That was very nice. Congrats to everybody that competed today. Y'all did awesome. Really appreciate you guys coming out. We're still got more. If you guys want to participate, you get a free entry into Thank you very much. our world competition. Sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I don't care which way you want to go. So it's not what you think it is. Okay. So just set up where you're, you're nice and parallel with each other. And what you're going to do is you're going to go. I'm going to let you go 50% because I don't know what you guys got. Okay. So you're not going any speed. It's going to be what. Okay, I want you to challenge each other, got it? Challenge. You ready? Just, just challenge each other with muscle strength. Okay, well, that's not a challenge for Muscle me, strength, man. right? Okay, ready? It's not a challenge for him, I mean. Go. But you're going to go, you're going to, no. You're just going to just power into with your muscles. Both you got Do you have any muscles? Don't over. Yeah. I'm going to over. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to teach you something. Okay? Ready? Go. Challenge each other. At this point, you're feeling different things, right? All these things are engaged, okay? So what you're trying to do is without jerking the body, without any fast movement, slowly try to get your opponent away from what he's got. Okay. See so what he's got? But no, this is not really a technique. Look at this, okay? This. Without using my body weight. Yeah, just use the muscles like you're curling. Okay. Be nice to him. <laughs> now, if you, got, if you keep this like nice. this, you'll get this engaged. If you move this away, you're not getting engaged as much. Okay? Just be nice to each other. Go. Go. Challenge each other. No mercy. No mercy. <laughs> Did you get what I said? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know. Nice. Right. <laughs> pretty nice to each other. That's the whole point. We're just like pulling down start, right? Slow. Yeah. No real jerking or anything. Just nice slow muscle movement, right? Let, let's even make it more fair. Now he wants revenge, though. Come down the road here. Like that. Right? Just now straight down. So not even happy. No, just if you don't get strong, you look happy, you don't get strong. 
Okay, come in. Just sit down. Right there. Go slow. Slow. All right, sounds good. Slowly. Slowly. There you go. You're nothing, Oleg. So you're nothing. Try to bring your... So this is the count. Are you calling? Or you're still not going to get the sword. Not this way. Up that way. Larry's going to get the sword left-handed right now. Ah, no! You're not going to get the sword. There you go. Oh, wait. Stand up. Good. Stop. So you see, I'm challenging this to use the muscle, not just the body. Quick move. You have to adjust. Try it again. Stay off. Stay off. What's that, Dave? You want to do, to do some curls? Or? Come on. So you want to do some curls, Larry? Let's go, man. Let's go. Oh, no. Watch your shoulders. Okay, that's cheating. That's cheating. Yeah. All right. Ready? Slow. Okay. Am I going fast? No. Good job. Yeah. Now, you see how you're pronating? You're pronating because you don't think your bicep's strong enough. Okay. Try to use your bicep a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to my screen. I'm going to tap my bicep. I was all bicep. <laughs> yeah, if you're all bicep, Ooh. so you can control him with bicep only. But which way is that? Where your palm is, is where it is. This is not it. This is it. I hear. Yeah, to your own chest. This should be hope. You, you try to do whatever you want. <laughs> You can so pronate. You can pronate. I can. Uh, no, <laughs> you can try to pronate because that's the whole thing. Is we're trying to teach him how to control others, right? So you're not as strong as him like this. I guarantee it. With your pronator, you have more of a chance. So try to just use that palm to chest. Ready? All right. Put this in. Now you can bring it back because you need space to move, right? So if you're too close, you can't move. Okay. Come down off your hands. I, I, know, I know you guys hate this. <laughs> so we're back. Slowly. Ready? Slow. Go. Straight up. There you go. Look at the engagement. Nice. Now you're coming up with the form, so you're eliminating this movement because he's so strong. So you're changing your movement because you're too strong. Right. So just come by. So come into bicep and try to control his power. This is protein is ridiculous for a little guy. <laughs> Ready, guy. Okay, so get down low. Try it one time. Down low. <laughs> right here. Okay. Shoulders like this. Okay. Now you know what you should do, right? Like this, and pull to your own chest. Okay. Okay. Now that's good. Do I do the same? You can do whatever you want because he's gonna. He's too strong. He, he's practicing. Yeah. yeah. He's trying to control <laughs> what he's trying to. Do. It's straight, straight. Go back a little bit. I'm not being a referee. I'm trying to say you have to have some movement from you. Ready? Slowly. Yeah. Good job. See where you're pulling with your palm? See this heel? Pull it right there. No, there. There you go. Right there. You're still pulling upward because he's too strong. <laughs> That's the whole point of getting the different angles and learning how to use the muscles you have while somebody's challenging you. I think he, he would be a really good one to challenge you on that because he's so strong with his brain. Absolutely. It's amazing. How'd you feel? Well, I feel good. I feel like uh, the answer was like really doing what you were saying. Mm -hmm. Like really cool there. Yeah. But it was easier for me to engage my planator. Yes. Because he wasn't using it. Because he wasn't using his heel. Yeah. If you used your heel more, he couldn't pronate. What do you mean by using my heel? Like, bring your heel up, like, so your heel, heel comes your to your own chest. Super name more. Yeah, supinate, but come up by your supinating to your own chest. Because this is what you've trained for all your life. Right? right? <laughs> yeah. But because you're so strong, you're going like this. <clears throat> right. You want to try it one more time? Okay. <laughs> so come down off the hands. You want to get him strong, so you don't want to ever wrap in a workout. Okay. Get the back of it. You feel okay? Yeah. You're going to go strong. Go. Oh, here's your, your heel. Yep. Goes right here. Good job. Up here. There you go. You see how you came in like that? That's perfect. See, that's stopping his pronator. 
This is for the sword. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the down. Because you actually got to feel your heel it, like three times went in and went right up and it got him in trouble. Right? Ixay got blocked my pronator when we just did that? You blocked your pronator. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. But it's with pure power. It's not like a leveraging technique. If he could leverage on you, he'd probably beat you. Right? He did. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so the leveraging is actually different than what you're working with right now. You're working with muscle. Right? And right. body movement, body positioning. Right. It's totally different. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You definitely wore us out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You definitely wore us out. You're like holding the Okay, stop. Let me get you in different position. Stay there. Yeah, yeah, pull him out. Can I'm talking opener? all this shit earlier. Can opener? Not right yet. Can opener. Right, yeah. Trust your, trust, trust your power. Trust your power. See, trust your power. There you go. See, totally different. Because now you're engaged in forearm bicep attack. Right. Up, go to your own chest. Then give him straight to the area. You go. Nice. Good sir, bro. Sorry. That's a new feather. Right? Uh oh, Larry's biceps popping. <laughs> Whisper is waiting until you really get worn out. Oh, right. right, Whisper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so waiting to come over. Whisper something goes here now. Right. Yeah, it's just uh, right. it's painful now. <laughs> Sorry, we're all being you now. Yeah, Dog Pal and Larry. It's all right. Dog Pal and Larry. Yeah. What was my first term? So we set up one way. All right, Whisper. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> you're focused where everything's happening. Always. So you can learn that way. If you look away, you're not going to learn much. Fair point. Yeah, about to let me show you. Nice. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 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 That was a great, skinny, bro. Would have been an awesome video. <laughs> yeah, the is going over the top. Yeah. <laughs> That's what over the top is. Oh! There was some air. He, he did go off. Yeah. Yeah. 
With permission. I just want you to drop your wrist. Right. Let's just pull. Okay? Slowly. Sit up there. Yeah, he doesn't he wants to win right now. I'm letting him try something. Not that strong. <laughs> no, nah, he's, he's strong. He's very strong. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Mm. Hulk smash! <laughs> That's right. No one wanted the salt for him. Right. <laughs> He's not gonna give you anything now, Tom. That's it. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Trying to hold. No, right against actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> After he's done the last, I love this. It. It's so funny. I love it. Oh my god. This will be a tough one. This is going to be tough. They're all tough. Uh, Just remember that same body position. Would have been a pin. It was already a pin. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. His name is Benji Mac. Go, Benji. What a big fan. See the flop. Yeah. Uh, I, thought were, I thought you were done. What are you going to do about that? It was good. That was good. Oh, <laughs> Might just grab him low. What if you grabbed him lower and just. Dad moved him. Sorry, I'm yeah. Again. Again. <laughs> We are wrapping up a long, successful day here at Grinder Gym. We are here outdoors, beautiful day here in San Diego. Pulled both right and left. You guys know the results. Second lefty overall, first righty. Having fun. Competition was steep today. Because of the small, intimate setting, there was a great electric atmosphere. It was hot in there, it was loud, and that's what you want when you're testing your mind on the table, when you're hard pulling. Had a blast. Arm wrestling is very much a strong community. It is a brotherhood. We all love and support each other, win or lose. There is no animosity here. There is no malicious intent, right? We're just having a good time. That's what I love about the sport. And growing with these individuals, right? Having the opportunity to pull all these different hands, being out here in the U.S. is a true privilege. 
after experiencing what it was like trying to grow as an arm wrestler over in Dubai. So with that said, thank you for watching. Thanks for following my journey to arm wrestling. I'm not done. I am going to be taking bodybuilding very seriously, not playing around. Arm wrestling, as I get closer to the show, will come to a complete stop. I do not need a second torn bicep or a broken arm. That is reckless. And if I want to get anywhere in bodybuilding, I need to pick, make that a priority. Speaking of that, I haven't done any arm wrestling specific weight training <laughs> since I left Dubai. How does that affect my performance on the table? As of right now, not at all. Will it eventually affect my performance? Absolutely. As I climb the ladder, it's going to take more than just good table time to become up there with the very best because the very best are not just doing table time. There are exceptions to every rule, like John Brzezink, for example. But for the rest of the arm wrestling elites, arm wrestling specific training is most definitely important and must be made a priority. So I'll see how far I can take it with just table time and some occasional weight training session. It's going to be sporadic. It's not going to be consistent. Keep it real with you guys because bodybuilding for the first time since I started bodybuilding is a priority. It's not about hitting PRs no more. It's not about winning arm wrestling matches. Those things are fun and those things may come later on. But right now it's about bodybuilding and to be specific, classic bodybuilding. I'm loving that more than anything right now. The last few years have burned me out. Being nearly 300 pounds all year round, trying to best myself with my PRs all the time, nonstop, burned me out. So that fire is back with bodybuilding. Guys like Bumstead, guys like Joshua Manoy, these guys are my inspiration to get into the sport. The industry has changed. The men working the strings, running the industry right now, running the shows, all that has changed in the last few years. Now we have competitors, people who used to be bodybuilders calling the shots. So everything is different now and this is a great time to get back into it. Does that mean I'm gonna remain on TRT? As close to it as I can. There are things like growth hormone, diuretics I need to be used to get to stage ready conditioning. But I will not compromise my health to this point where I was PR Larry. That's not gonna be me anymore. I have a fiance, I'm looking to have a family. These things become more prominent and more important as I get older. And time still is on my side for bodybuilding. And by dropping into classic, right, for cutting from where I'm at 258 right now, on stage at 230, maybe even 240 on the pro level, I believe can be can be done healthy without compromising my health. So long out show, long story short, thank you again for watching. Shout out to Grinder Gym. They're throwing tournaments from what I hear every three months out here in San Diego. God, if you have an arm and it works, <laughs> arm wrestle. There is no reason why you cannot arm wrestle. Join a practice club, you will not break your arm with decent technique. You will not blow off your bicep. If you are just looking to enjoy arm wrestling, have fun at it, as long as you do it under supervision of a good arm wrestling coach with a good practice team that understands that you are a novice, you're just starting out, you will be safe. Do not arm wrestle your friends on a non-arm wrestling table. Do not go to a bar when you're drunk and arm wrestle. You will break your arm. You will tear your shit up. That's how you get hurt. Do not arm wrestle on a machine at the gym. Arm wrestle on an arm wrestling table. That's the safest way to do it. On that note, Love you guys. See you soon. Stay strong. Love my wrestling.